Well, this project uh, involves warm mix asphalt and it's a new process that we've never used before. It basically takes uh, the same production mechanisms that we make hot mix with, but we uh, foam water into the mix. And so we're able to produce the, the mix at a lower temperature, around 275 is what we're making this mix at, which uh, reduces the emissions that you ordinarily see from hot mix. It gives us a little more workability. We can work the mix at cooler temperatures and, and with longer hauls. We hope that it gives us more durability of the mix in the long run because we're not cooking the, the lighter oils out of the, out of the hot mix at the, those advanced temperatures. This is a uh, PG70-22 asphalt that, that this mix is made of. We designed it at a 97% density for our local conditions and our local aggregate. We've, we've upped the density so that we get a little more asphalt in the warm mix. But other than that, including the moisture through the, the foaming process, there's nothing unusual about this mix. We included 20% route and it was fractionated by the contractor. It passes the half inch seal. That, that's worked out real well for us too. Certainly the reduction in emissions is a big plus. Uh, when we produce the mix below 285, you just don't see any smoke, you don't have the fumes and, and all those issues. Contractors have less burner fuel that they use to produce the mix, so hopefully we will eventually see that in, in reduced bid prices. We started out with a breakdown roller, a pneumatic, and a, a static steel wheel we were able to completely remove the pneumatic roller uh, because of that increased workability that we got from the warm mix. And another advantage just in dealing with the traffic is we can, we can turn the traffic back on that mat quicker. The differences that we've seen between working with warm mix and working with hot mix is not significant. And we believe that, that warm mix is gonna have a, a, a big future and textile. The only question left with warm mix in my mind is what is the long-term performance effect of the warm mix? You know, we can only answer that through research and, and time. This surface was laid in October of 2008. In August of 2010, Jesse Fleming reports that the warm mix on US-183 is performing well, very comparable to other hot mix and warm mix that was placed before and since that project. We have not seen any premature failures or distresses. It is still a little early to know for certain if the mix exhibits slower surface oxidation tendencies than hot mix.